In this video, we'll look at how to push websites out to student devices, lock students into one or more websites, and lock the student screen. Pushing a website out to a student device is done with the push URL button. If you click this button without first selecting a student, or, or some students, you'll be prompted, do you want to apply push URL to all devices in the class? This allows you to do this command or other commands for the entire class. Alternately, you could select one student or multiple students and look for the, the check mark to indicate the ones that are selected, and then when you apply the function, it will happen on just those devices. So I will deselect so that I can run this for the whole class, and we'll use the push URL command. And there are a couple of places that you can choose the site information. One is you can type it in at the top. So if you already have one, you can copy and paste it from your browser if it's a site that you want to send the student to and just paste it into this area at the top. Or you can choose a web link from this list at the bottom, and these are sites that have already been saved. If you put a manual site in at the top, you have the option to save it as a new web link. That will add it to the list at the bottom for easy access next time. Saved web links can be created so that they can be shared with other teachers at the same location. So when you're viewing this list, you have the option to check this box to show only the links that you've created or also see the shared ones that were created for the entire, uh, for the entire school. In my case, I'll just go ahead and choose one site and click Push URL. The site opens on all the devices automatically, and as you can see, the thumbnails are beginning to update to show that the student devices are jumping to that site. If we switch over to tab view, you'll see that that is also the site at the top of the list for every student. Pushing a site to a student just opens that site, and the student can still browse to any other site or use other tabs that are open. However, if you would like to restrict students to one or more sites, the process is very similar, but we will use the site lock feature instead. So again, I can select just one student if I want to send one student and lock them into a site, this allows you to have different students on different sites all locked in, or leave the students unselected, and then when we choose Site Lock, it will verify that we want to apply it to the entire class. And the Options window looks pretty much the same as it did for Push URL, but it has some additional options at the bottom. So this time, let's push students out to ck12.org um, and Biology. So these are the two sites I want to send them to. So we have some extra options at the bottom. We can force close all the other tabs. So this can just help remove some of the other distractions from tabs that are open on the device. However, it's not required. If a student has other tabs open and you don't select this option, those other tabs will temporarily change to a screen that says this site is temporarily blocked. Then when you release the site lock later, those tabs become available and the students can continue working on those other sites. So it's really just a matter of whether or not you want to remove the distraction of the extra sites. The next option is allow the entire site. So this allows you to choose whether you want to lock to just a, the specific page that's configured in the web link, or if you want to allow them to browse elsewhere on that website. In most cases, you want to allow the entire site. The exception might be if you are site locking them to a specific assignment or quiz and you don't want them to be able to navigate elsewhere, um, even within that same site. And these options will be remembered for you so then if you do a certain set of these options all the time, um, they'll be set the next time you come into this area. And then the third option is do not open tabs at all. What this does is tabs won't open, it just basically acts as if you're sending a list of devices, a list of sites to the device or to the student and they can freely browse among whatever group of sites you sent to them, but you're not forcing the tabs open automatically. Sometimes we have teachers that create a large list, you know, 10 or 20 sites, they may even arrange them into a folder, um, and the kids, they know, or those are the sites that they can browse to, and they don't want to clutter the student screen up by opening them all, but they can browse to them manually. So now when I click Site Lock, you can see we get the little globe icon on each of these, and that indicates that, that, that the student is locked. And if we look at the tab list, you'll see that this, we get the same symbol along the top, and the flag sites will be popping up here. No, I didn't do the flag sites, I did ck12.org. While students are locked into a website, release works similar to doing the lock, where I could do the entire class at once, or I could choose individual students. So if I click on just these two students and hit release, 
you'll see that the globe goes away. So now they're no longer locked, but the other students are still locked. Or I can hit release and apply the release to the entire class, and that will release all students. You'll notice that both the screen lock and the site lock, oops, I did not mean to just do screen lock. You'll notice that both the push URL and the site lock have the ability to select multiple sites. So these are individual sites, but there are also options of selecting folders. And we'll look later at how to create a folder to open multiple sites all at the same time. And you can do a combination. So I could do a folder plus an extra site. And now all the sites inside the folder and the extra site will get pushed to all of those devices. So lastly, let's look at screen lock. So screen lock is just the way to get the student's attention at the front of the room. Again, we can apply it to the whole class or to individual devices. Um, there's a default message in here. Screen has been locked by your teacher, but you can type anything you like in here. And the lock symbol shows us it's locked, but when we're in thumbnail view, you can also see the image itself. And then that also appears back here on tab view. Uh, we also have the option of, again, going to device view, seeing the larger image. We can release one student individually from the larger image or from back here at either device view or thumbnail view. The same process, choose the student and click on release. Or don't choose any students and release the entire class.